way to the new gym right now by the beach. Nice. David Guetta was weird. Why? No, how it all unfolded was weird. What do you mean? Like I went to Vegas with my friends. We went to the club. We literally didn't even pay because girls go in for free on certain places. We Why? Because you have like titties and stuff. Hey, don't look down there. But um, yeah. So we went in and then I don't know where this person wanted to buy me a drink and he said come to my VIP section. I'm like, all right, down. And then I kind of told him, like, I have friends. And he's like, only the girls. Only and I'm like, the girls. Fuck. So <laughs> the guys that came with, you know, they had to, like, kick them out. Yeah, go our separate yeah. ways to be at the VIP section with David Guetta. she runs <laughs> me lift the weights me pick up the weight with my arm then me put the weight down with my foot yes. yeah thanks oh. man it's the, a rare one it's you a see? land rover yeah really got all oh, wow. <laughs> that's fire dude oh, thanks, i said how long have you had it uh five years wow. and i'm in trade for an air conditioner while I was in a poker game, man. An air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. What? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, like I pick up my son at elementary school. Oh, wow. that's dumb. Oh, it's like the coolest game. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, but you gotta use it, otherwise when old things sit. Yeah. Oh, they, they go too. bad. Yeah. 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 Might as well use it. Yeah. The gym right here. This is the outside portion. They got some weights. They got some some nice dumbbells, some barbells, a whole lot of nice stuff. It's real nice. Some trees, you feel me? So we could look at it and you know smell it, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Smell it a little more. Mm-hmm. That's right, that's right. Give it a little bit of that's right. I like it. It's cool. What's up, brother? How are you? Yo. <laughs> Um, yeah, we can stretch right here. Oh, that's cool. Let's do it. Stretch time.
top we got the tens, we got the 25s, we got the 45s. Um, we can bring some tens and some 25s out here. I'll bring two tens. So this is actually really nice because we can lift weights outside so it feels really good. I feel like my airway is super open. It's so easy to breathe, especially since I just quit smoking. There's a lot of trees right here giving me a lot of oxygen, so I feel great. We're gonna check out the upstairs portion. And then if you look right over there, we got the beach. That's super clean. I'm guessing we got some yoga classes in here too, because check this out. Bam. Wow. Fire. Now we're making our way upstairs. I feel like I'm in the MTV cribs right now. Yeah, so this is my crib right here. So we got the super cool iconics here at the crib. We turn and we lit. We beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do Wow. That ocean breeze feels so nice. Woo. The sun is out here. Look at it the beach is. out there. Like, look at everything. Wow. This beautiful. is a spot. Beautiful out here, 24-7. Man, we see that's the way. was definitely a vibe. Now we're gonna go back to the home base. Close workout protein shake, baby. Hey! So right now I'm gonna show you the God-given strength that I've been given. Roll a joint for somebody and not smoke it and watch them smoke. Ah, yeah, let's get it. Let's see what's in here. Okay, what's up, Cora? I just want to show you guys that it's possible to be a ex chronic weed smoker that can sit here and literally watch somebody else partake. I know somebody in the comments literally said like, like one of their friends freaked out on them because they had a joint that they wanted. The dude spit in his face and disrespected him, went crazy on him just to get the joint from him because he was going through marijuana withdrawals. So I'm gonna prove to you that I have self-control and God energy to roll this woman a joint and not partake myself. Right now I'm smelling the aroma. It smells really good, you know, but I'll be okay. It's important for me to show my subconscious that I can be around marijuana and not partake myself. So this is gonna give me more strength and more power 
because I'm showing myself that this is not what I need. It's gonna relay into better content for you guys. So I don't wanna mess that up, you know? I don't wanna mess that up by smoking. I feel like I really have to make a commitment to myself and to you that I'm gonna keep bettering myself in this way because of the natural energy that I've been given. Because honestly, the other day, um, I was at, a, at the Fit Expo and I was given a whole lot of supplements, a whole lot of pre-workouts, and I took pre-workout two days in a row, and both times I crashed and I felt like shit. Because naturally, I'm not supposed to drink pre-workout because I have a lot of natural energy. So it ends up cra making me crash instead of giving me energy because I'm already good naturally. I don't need pre-workout, I don't need none of that. Yes, I rolled this pretty fast because I'm a very good roller. Bomba clad skins for days, man. This freaking dog. Man. Oh, shit. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Hey. That's more like it. So the J is ready for Madame Maris. So when did you start smoking? Mm, during the pandemic. Oh, what? <laughs> Don't blow that. Don't you... make fun of me. So yeah, I'm a newbie on, you know, smoking weed. Um, I've been a uh, God's child, you know, being pure. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it's the devil's lettuce. That's right. and, yeah, it's the devil's lettuce. So I never touched anything. I mean, it's been around me because I lived in Compton and whatnot, and other types of drugs around me. But I've never been like curious. Yeah. So what got you to want to smoke? Overthinking. So over, so you were overthinking and you just thought to myself, you know what, let me try some weed. Yeah. For real? To relax myself. In layers, like how I think. So it's just, I'm all over the place mentally. So at that stage, I was very frustrated with myself. Like how to balance that. If anything, I was like the sober one of the crowd because mm -hmm. my friends were just wild. And I guess you could say like, I was like the mom in the group. Alcohol does not make you make bad decisions. It just makes you, it just gives you the guts to do what you what you want to do. Like, Yo, the one <laughs> thing about LA is that like downtown LA, you might go to the club yeah. and experience a shootout. Yeah, you don't have to drink Wait, and have you fun. Wait, you're done? Yeah, I'm done. Well, is it too much? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're, you're, well, you're gonna smoke <laughs> it while you work. Yeah, probably, I'll do that. Uh, it'll, but... be right, it'll be right there for you. Late bloomer, late smoker. Late bloomer, and at the same time, like it's like I could quit whenever too. You think so? I think like the only thing that sucks is like the withdrawal of like not able to sleep. Yeah, that sucks. Like, I'm very glad that I'm actually over the withdrawals right yeah. now, and that like I'm very, I'm able to sleep fully. But the one thing that I am still struggling with when I wake up, I feel tired. Another week and I won't feel like that. Yeah. I'm getting there, my energy levels are very good right now. At the gym, it was a great session. I didn't even get tired after I was doing all these reps. I was not tired, I was still jumping around, I was still super excited. So, I feel great. That was me watching my smoke and not partaking myself because I wanna to prove to you guys that you can do it, it's possible. You don't have to partake if you don't want to, you know? This is completely up to you. Um, stay strong. I'm here with you. Like I just showed you, I'm here with you. You feel me? Like, do not worry. We can talk about it. Leave some comments. Leave a like. Share it with your friends. Share it with whoever that needs it. And guys, let's keep let's keep leveling up, my people. Let's keep getting better. Let's stay strong and stay beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. More content on the way. Let's go.